Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video I'd like to discuss some new packages that I've put together to make your motor selection go as smoothly as possible for your G540. I get questioned every day from future clients, past clients, whoever it may be, about what motor package I recommend for their open build kit or whatever they're building, and I wanted to make this process as simple as possible. So what I designed is my new bulletproof motor packages. Um, why I consider them bulletproof is they do come with the new EMI filters I design. These simply just plug into your Rev2 Pro Sodalus connector. Just plug them in. These have um, EMI ferrites inside there. You see your gold connectors right there. This way when you attach your motor to these leads, they're now actually filtered uh, as far as the step and direction signals from EMI. Um, the only design on the market like this, many of you already know that, Pro Sodalus Rev2 connectors are a joke to actually assemble. Pins 5 and 1 are for your resistor. 6 through 9 actually get your leads from your motors. Very, very simple process in assembling these. Now, the questions I usually get when it comes to motor selection is, first of all, what size do I need? Well, the packages I'm offering are going to be configured stock in 3 and 600 ounce. That pretty much covers the gamut of what you'd actually run with the G540. However, there are times you may need a larger motor, but nine, ten, 9 out of 10 times, excuse me, most of my potential clients think they need a larger motor than they do. Contact me before you make that choice because odds are I can save you some money. We'll discuss your application. I'm telling you right now, 600 ounce motors are very, very strong. So uh, unless there's, you know, some variables that I'm uncertain of or, you know, your chassis is a really different design, it's worth asking before spending the money. You know, I'd rather you do that rather than make the exception to the rules, so to speak. Um, again, these packages are complete in the sense that if you're um, buying a DIY package where you will be assembling um, the actual motor cable, you're looking at here your DB9 connectors that will be included. Um, these DB9 connectors will be coming in male and female, so you can make a male and female end, of course, on the cable. And, of course, with the packages, you're also going to select what particular cable you're going to manufacture your cables out of. Now, again, depending on your application, if you're building a plasma system, I highly recommend going with my 18.4 double shielded. Now, the 18.4 double shielded, see if I can focus here, is a very, very high quality cable. You got four copper conductors here, you got tin braided copper, you got mylar foil for ultimate EMI protection. You also have twine in, in between the actual conductors so that when the motor or the cable flexes, excuse me, the leads do not have as much friction against each other and they last a lot longer. This is industrial rated cable, guys. This is no joke. It's designed for this application and again, it easily fits within a cable chain. So it's a great, great, great um, option for you guys that are using um, plasma systems or any system for that matter in a high um, EMI environment. If you're in a lot of EMI, this is the cable you probably want to go with. Um, the other cable choice that you would have in the same category is my molded pro motor cables. Now this is for the client or potential client that just wants to hit the ground running as far as plug and play design. The only thing you'd have to do is of course attach the four leads from your motor to your pro sodalus and then plug the uh, completed assembly into the motor cable. These cables I've discussed in my previous videos as being signal cable. I still get questions on what makes these cables signal cable and what's so unique about them. So I decided to butcher one of my cables <laughs> and the sacrificial lamb is right here and you can see the conductors inside are 20 gauge. They are full copper. And what makes this signal cable, you can see foil shield and you can also see tin braided copper which also is double shielded. Um, many of you already know who've purchased my systems within the last year, you got these cables. Um, these are an amazing value for what they are. They are pre-assembled, molded. Um, I get comments all the time on the quality of these cables. They're amazing. Um, again, each kit will be justified in price by what cable combination you choose. Of course, the 18.4 single shielded is not going to be as much money as either one of the 18.4 double shielded or the Pro Motor assembled cable. Uh, with good reason. You can see here what you're getting and again as far as the actual PVC casing you can see these are 300 volt rated. These are no joke guys. 80 degrees Celsius temp rating. Very very nice cables. These go up to 13 feet. That's what their stock length is um, and again really that's pretty much the go between between what most guys need for their systems. Plasmas are usually the ones that or larger systems 
that may require more. I always tell you guys, factor at least an additional five to six feet for your cables, regardless of how many times you measure, because it's very easy to cut short when you're running through all of the cable chains. Um, but as far as a complete motor assembly kit, you now have got it all. Pro Sodalus connectors will come with all of these, regardless of what cable combination you decide to uh, manufacture your cables with. Um, again, if you get the, the Assemble Pro Motor cable, you're not going to need the DB9 connectors. DB9 connectors only come with the cables you're naturally going to assemble. You do get the uh, Pro Sodalus hardware, which is stress reliefs for your motors. You can see them right here. And once again, you'll get as many as required. If you're getting four motors, of course, you need four of them. Um, there is nothing that's required with these kits. When I say that, other than your soldering iron, your soldering, um, your solder itself, and of course your flux, you're going to be set. Um, you will be getting the match resistors, and the resistors I get questioned about all the time. Just to make sure everybody is aware, when you use a resistor with a G540, regardless of the amperage of your motors, I know 3.5 amps is the max peak amp rating of the G540. Well, if you use the resistor, even though your motor's amp is sustainable by the G540, you're going to allow the drive to enter current reduction mode when your system is idle. And basically what that means is it reduces its current output to 70%, and that will prevent just cooking the motors unnecessarily. You know, I mean, realistically, we always want increased motor longevity, and that's an easy way to go. Now, steppers do get hot. That's inevitable. We're running 48 volts through motors that are typically running like 3.4, 3.5 volts. So again, that overdrive ratio is always going to bump up the heat production of the motors. Plus, these motors are always pulling amps unlike a standard DC motor on and off and all that neat stuff. So you guys got to really realize what you're getting involved with. I get questions on that a lot. Um, I will send you a video if you want to see. You can actually cook eggs on steppers. I'm not recommending you to run your motors as hot as possible. I'm just making you aware of why I really um, cannot emphasize enough. Use everything I include. I've included it for a reason. Take the time. It may take you a little longer, but I know you'll get much more use out of the kit and you'll really appreciate it because that's the whole idea behind it. There's a lot of thought in these kits. Um, overall though, if you guys do have any questions, please message me. You know that I'm always there for you. Um, to all my subscribers, I love you guys. Um, we are all growing together and that's exactly what I want to have happen. Um, I'm getting a lot more questions, like I said, on the motor configuration. So I hope this has definitely answered a lot of them. But, um, if you guys do need general support, you can message me at storm, S T O R M two, three, one, three at gmail.com or contact me through my eBay store. Of course, all of this content information will be in the description below along with links to all of these motor packages for your specific system once again it's impossible for me to list every variable for every system so if you have a unique system once again just take the time message me and we'll get you taken care of if we have to schedule a call that's my preferred method guys i'm old school um texting and all that crap i get you kind of lost with that with everything going on in the shop so usually it's just easier to schedule a phone call with me even if it's a couple days it's usually worth the while if we talk for a half hour 30 or 40 minutes whatever it may be we'll get everything ironed out thank you all for watching take care